Hello everyone, it's Leo and I'm here today to talk about Chiyu, to talk about episode 8 from Healing Good Precure. And I dare say, this was my favorite Healing Good episode so far. This series has been bringing it, you know, in so many different aspects and I believe this episode had it all. You know, it, like, Chiyu is being turned into such a great character, Peggy Tan as well, like, they both come together very nicely. And one thing that I'm really liking about Healing Good is the fact that we, we're able to see all of the characters. We're able to see all of them shining a little bit, and it's not easy to do that. Like, Precure doesn't always do that, and Healing Good is really hitting it with this season. Anyways, um, right at the start of the episode, we were able to see that, you know, Chi is preparing herself, she's training hard, and Nodoka's also, you know, starting to run a little bit, and it, it's it's cute that uh, Rabirin, you know, sees that and praises Nodoka for that, because we know Nodoka can't run a lot, she has lots of problems, and, uh, like, she, every time she tries to run a little bit, a little bit harder, she gets very tired, but she's trying, you know, she, like, she's healthy, and now she, she's trying to, you know, become active, become physical again, and that's amazing, and, like, Rabbiting really sees that in her, you know, in just one commentary, we are able to see how their relationship is developing nicely, and I love that, and then, uh, we see, like, Chiyu is preparing herself while the girls are watching, she's preparing for the, the championship that's, that's happening with schools, and, uh, Mas the Masco, Michio, Michio appears and he tells, them, like, there is another one in another school that's better than Chiyu, and, like, sh she's the one that she's, she needs to look after, and she needs to be worried about, and I loved how that scene played out, you know, the girls trying to hide that from Chiyu, they didn't want Chiyu to, to actually see that they were, ta they were talking about that, and the way Chiyu sees it, like, Hinata just gives it away, like, Hinata is a delight, she is a delight to watch, you know, you see Hinata like that, and, you know, all crazy, and, you know, not thinking about what she's saying, and when she says things, she doesn't even notice, I just loved it, it was amazing, that scene was gorgeous, and then, um, what what you said after like it, it really paved the way for the whole episode i think um like she said she knows that the girl exists she knows that the girls have the girl uh has the the tournament like she has the highest jump of uh the the record is hers and uh, like she knows that but what she is more worried about is herself like I am my own rival, she says, and I think that is basically what this episode is all about. She says that she's her own rival and she has to battle against herself. And honestly, I think that we all go through this in life. I'll go back to that. Uh, and then we see like the girls jogging together, like it, it was very cute. Um, like Chiyu, uh, after that Chiyu started jumping and she couldn't get the jump right again. And like she is the best, she's the queen of the jumps but she couldn't get the jump correctly. She, uh, she started uh, like hitting the bar every time and uh, things started to go down for her. And we didn't really understand why. But then, um, at, like, at the next day before going to school, this, the girls go jogging together. That was a very nice scene because when uh, Chiyu is getting out of her house, Noruka arrives and then Hinata arrives. And you know, they didn't uh, combine that. It, that just happened, but the girls, they had the same idea. And then uh, Hinata, and, Hinata gets Nodoka and says, Oh, why are you here? You know, like, the, they, they're trying to understand each other. And both of them basically say that they're there because uh, they want to cheer Chiyu on, they want to stay with her and everything. And, uh, like, sh they, they're trying to talk without Chiyu noticing what they're saying, without Chiyu understanding what they're saying. But Chiyu does know. Chiyu looks at them and she's like, she, she does know what both of them are doing and why both of them are doing what they're doing. And, but, but she doesn't say that, but she acknowledges uh, the importance their friendship has in her and for her at that moment. And at that moment she shares something about when she was a kid and when she was, um, she, she loved swimming. And uh, like that was a very beautiful scene and very poetic in a way. Because like she was she was swimming in the sea and then she was able to like in one time she she got lost in her mind and when she came back to actually pay attention to what she was seeing everything was blue and I found that so beautiful like everything was blue blue and 
she couldn't know where uh, where the the sea ended and the sky started everything has melted everything was together everything was only one and she wants to see that again she wants to meet that again she wants to go to that blue place again and you know that that can be a metaphor for so many things and like especially childhood when you see like um when you miss your childhood and want to go back to that, you, you uh, specifically think about something important or something beautiful that happened in your childhood. And you want to go back to that place or that feeling, that smell, that taste. You know, the, those things are things that uh, we connect to, like, to what happened before. And, you know, I found that incredibly beautiful incredibly beautiful and that's why she chose to jump she chose to do the high jump because then she would be closer to the sky that she wants to go to someday and um, like she shares that with the girls and even that she's not able to jump again she, the high bar is not um, it's not working for her and then uh, Peggy Tan starts to you know be very very worried and he does something to help her like Peggy Tan in this episode he was so he, he is the cutest you know like I say this every time he is the cutest and like when I was watching the episode I was like okay everybody's appearing except for Nyatoran Nyatoran's doing anything they did they forget about Nyatoran in this episode but they did Nyatoran participation Nyatoran's participation was great um and then Peggy Tan you know like he started to check out to see if he could help her with something and I absolutely love the fact that he has lots of books written with paws in his bedroom. It, I loved it and I want to try to make the bedrooms of the healing animals in Animal Crossing. I'm gonna try to do that somehow. I really need that. Uh, but anyways, um, Peggy Tan was there. He like he was doing everything he could to help her and then he like he read something in her book that in his book that I found incredible as well. When you start being conscious that you're failing, you start failing more and more and more. Things seem to be harder. And also, that's another thing that I feel I deeply relate to. I deeply relate to that. I feel like when you know that something's not working and you're gonna try to do that, it doesn't work. You know, nothing works. Nothing works, nothing goes right. And it's incredible, you know, like it's it, it really happens this way, at least to me it does. So I felt that. And so like he asked for uh, Rabini's help and she said, oh, Noruka and uh, Hinata are just there shopping. And he was like, oh my God, they're just shopping and she was suffering all by herself. And he was starting to be desperate. And when he got there, they were just creating a banner for her. And Nyatora just, just wrote the words down. He wrote that them wrong. <laughs> Obviously that, that scene was awesome. But you know, Peggy Tan was so happy to see that they're they're doing what they can to cheer Chiyu. And they even told him that they told Chiyu that uh, she shouldn't um, she shouldn't try that hard. She shouldn't you know she shouldn't you know. But Chiyu said, "I am here to push my own limits. I am here because I want to test myself. I want to go to new heights." And that that's just very very incredible, you know and. When the tournament was happening, um, that was an attack and the monster appeared. And here, here's one thing I have to say. I criticize less episodes fight, episode 7, a lot. But this episode's fight was very good. It was amazing. You know, the animation was there. Like, animation in Healing Good is not good. But in this episode, the animation was there. It was on point. And in the fight, it was there as well. It was just there, and I just loved it. You know, the 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 fight was incredible. It was it wasn't that big. It was like it wasn't something whoa, but it was good. You know, the girls were running around. They were using powers. Um, you know, the, and the the way they create this, they created a situation for Fontaine to uh, use her own abilities, which is the jump, for her to you know to shine with that it was awesome it was just awesome and then like she used her jump she was able to beat the Byogen with her jump and like I just loved it I really really liked it and I think this fight was incredible it was one of the best fights I think the best fight in healing good so far you know like we're saying healing good is not really strong in the fight department 
but they hit it right in this episode. And I hope that they keep it with the, they keep it this level because incredible, incredible, incredible. And then at the end, Chiyu, without anyone there, because the, the tournament was stopped, without anybody there, Chiyu just jumped by herself and she was able to make the jump. And, you know, the tournament itself didn't really matter for her. What mattered was that she was able to do the jump because she was battling against herself. And when she did that, she was happy. It was enough for her. I am just in awe with this. You know, and the girls jumping with her and hugging her at the end. So cute, so cute, so cute. Incredible episode. You know, um, and one more thing. When uh, Kira Fontaine was there uh, getting ready to attack the monster, the way she talked to Pegaton, thanked Pegaton for everything he did to her and how he helped her, how he supported her. Come on. Incredible. Episode 8. Thank you, Healing Good. You're being awesome. You are being awesome. I am loving, I am loving, loving, loving you. Anyways, guys, that was my view on episode 8. Please leave a comment with your opinions. Let's keep talking in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.